rhythm and melody, I always keep this in mind like when I'm making beats, like rhythm and melody are the universal language. If, if the beat is bouncing and it has an ill ass rhythm to it, or if it has a good melody, then anybody in the world can bounce. Fucking black beetle cream seats in the regal rocking John Lennon lenses like to see him spread eagle. Took a bitch to the club and let a party on the table screaming, everybody's famous. You know what I'm saying? We had tree sounds kicking shit as usual. The way I look at music is like we're creating like a, a wave form, you know what I'm saying? Like all the way in the Pro Tools and everything. When I started on um, Black Beatles, I really just started with the drums or whatnot. So first I had a clap. And then 808. And then by that time, you know what I'm saying? I pretty much got the beat going. So I take, I take the metronome off. So then it's just all natural drums and there's no more click track. Add a snare in there. And then like, I feel like the hi-hats like add the character to it, you know what I'm saying? Bring the bounce into it. And then at that point, I feel like I got a good loop track. I had this arpeggiator and it, and it was just sounding cool. And I was just fucking with it and it just sounded like I don't know, it just sounded like a like a like a video game and I was like man how could I how could I make this shit weird you know what I'm saying I was just fucking with it and I was just like man just held that shit down like you know what I'm saying it's a heart and it's back to that melody and rhythm you know what I'm saying it goes hard, it goes a long way so it's like the drums were already rocking I just laid this harp on it and then with the piano, I just went along with it, you know what I'm saying? With the um with the beat, I heard this melody. And like with the pianos, I was thinking like some fucking like 90s R and B. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's how, that's why I wanted like the beat to sound like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause I felt like the vibe, the vibe of the arpeggiator and the vibe of the piano, it was just like two different vibes. You know what I'm saying? I sent it to Sway Lee and I was like, man, it's an idea. You know what I'm saying? I came up with the other day. Like, you know what I'm saying? Cause I know we were close to wrapping up the album. So I was like, see if you fuck with it. And then he did Black Beatles immediately and sent it back and was like, yo, tell me what you think about this, you know what I'm saying, this hook I just laid on. That girl is a real crowd, please. Small world, all her friends know of me. Young boy living like an old keys. Quick release the cash, watch it fall slowly. I'm like, yo, this shit hard. And at the time, I was over at Gucci's house. So I was like, I'm like, Gucci, man, you know we got to have you on Shrimp Life too. It was crazy because the first interview ever with Ray Shrimmer on DJ Drama Station. Gucci had called me from prison and he was just like, man, yo, man, yo, that group Ray Shrimmer, man, they're gonna be big, bro. They're gonna be big. Like the first interview ever, like way back a couple of years ago, he was like, man, I wanna do a song with them. Of course, they always looked up to Gucci and, and, and respected his music, you know what I'm saying? It was just like the perfect matchup. It was perfect timing. We were just wrapping up the album. Bro was just coming home. And you know what I'm saying? I had just made the beat and everything just lined up. Black Beetle Club clothes when I say something.